Nothing he could have done could have prepared him for what he was about to experience. He couldn't help but wonder how his wife could do such a thing as he grappled with the reality. He was a loving husband and a wonderful father to his two young children. Until he saw his newborn baby girl, he had no reason to suspect infidelity. Ben and Angela Hegborough were no more distinct than any other couple who had ever existed. Born and raised in Nigeria, the couple decided to relocate to London, UK, a very unfamiliar place where they encountered an unfamiliar occurrence. Infidelity is one of the most dangerous challenges to a meaningful marriage. No matter how much a couple claims to be unconcerned about it, this question lurks in the depths of their subconscious. The couple had no idea that this threat was about to knock on their door. Ben and Angela had two children before moving to London five years ago. Angela walked into their bedroom one morning when Ben was least expecting it, and with a big smile, she said to him that she was pregnant. The couple was overjoyed with the news, but they had no idea what was in store for them. And as is common among couples expecting a new child, such information is often kept private until the pregnancy is too large to conceal. Even then, they'd prefer that fewer people know about it so that it can be a big surprise for everyone. But they'd soon realize that they'd be the ones who got the biggest surprise. So far, the pregnancy had been uneventful, and the time had come for the baby to be embraced into the world. Angela was rushed to the hospital. Both she and her husband were ecstatic about the new chapter in their lives that was about to begin. Everything at the hospital went as planned. Angela was ready to give birth, and the time had come. Dad sat in the waiting room, patiently watching as the doctor assisted Angela in giving birth to their child. The doctor, nurses, and parents, on the other hand, were unprepared for what was about to happen. Something odd about this baby was noticed by the doctors and nurses. The room fell silent, tension rose, and the nurses burst out laughing. Angela was naturally alarmed by these actions and wanted to know if everything was okay. The nurses comforted her and assured her that everything was fine, but their expressions perplexed her until she was handed the baby. Angela held her newborn baby in her arms and realized the face was too familiar to conceal. Angela's first concern, like any mother's, was the baby's well-being. Thank goodness the baby was healthy. Everything about this baby's birth was ordinary, and the birth was similar to all other births that had occurred before and after it. The baby's health, on the other hand, was the last thing on Ben's mind. Nothing Ben could have done could have prepared him for what he was about to witness. He was a loving husband and a wonderful father to his two children. He had no reasonable grounds to suspect infidelity up until that point when he saw the baby in his wife's arms. How could his wife deceive him in such a way? Not only was the baby white, but she was also blue-eyed and blonde. What's more perplexing is that her parents were both black Nigerians. Angela, realizing her predicament, began explaining to both her husband and the nurses that she'd been completely loyal. This didn't explain how Ben could have fathered a blue-eyed blonde child. Both parents were unaware of any white ancestry history other than Ben's mother's lighter complexion to explain the possibility of a recessive gene. Angela had already confirmed the child's paternity all doctors could do was look for other explanations to back up Angela's theory. Albinism was ruled out by tests. Luckily, more answers appeared to be on the way. A few months later, another black couple, Francis and Arlette, had a white baby boy. Albinism was ruled out in their case. The nurses, too, hypothesized extramarital affairs. Francis claimed that he didn't need a DNA test to know the baby was his because he realized the baby had his nose. Could this potentially help Ben sleep at night? A story about a black woman with two white children sparked Ben's interest. In this case, the father of the children was her white husband. Could it be that Angela and Arlette weren't telling the whole truth? The origins of the Ben and Angela case are a mystery in and of themselves. As a result, the child was given the name Namachi, which means God's beauty. Even though it's suspected that this is a divine intervention, the scientific community has one question that DNA test results haven't quite answered. Will Angela's words suffice for Ben? Ben, the girl's father, is adamant that Demachi is his daughter, despite the fact that there's no medical explanation for how this could have happened. 
After all, this could be a miracle story. Ben is a very happy father, despite the difference in skin color.